power drop. Uh, we're coming into a cyclical bottom for gold, and it rises going into December, January. So that might be the reverse of the dollar fall. Um, apart from that, I think one thing people who are dollar-based need to focus on is the Amero. That's the one thing that nobody's talking about that I think is going to have a big impact on uh, on everybody's life in Canada, the U.S., and uh, Mexico. If you Google it, you'll find out all about it. Well, you could tell us a little bit more right now. You always hear it on CNBC, don't you? <laughs> the Amero is the proposed new currency for the North American community, which is being uh, developed right now between Canada, the U.S., and Mexico to make a borderless community, much like the EU. And uh, the dollar, Canadian dollar, U.S. dollar, and the Mexican peso are replaced by the Amero. You, uh, you really think that will get any, any leeway? Uh, you may want to visit a couple of websites and see how far along it is. The Canadians are pretty upset about it, whereas the Americans, apart from the Texans, um, are the only people who know anything about it. The, the rest of the public's really uh, sort of with their head in the sand on this one. Uh, okay, interesting. I mean, we've already, got, we've already gotten after the free trade zone, isn't? I mean, does, is that is that working? Is that doing enough? Well, I'll tell you what. It's created a lot of illegal immigrants come across the border. Um, I don't know. You get the pros and cons on this thing. NAFTA, for some people, is a very good thing. For other people, it's been a disaster. And uh, I think this is one way that the politicians are trying to work themselves out of what potentially could be a disastrous situation going forward.